joining me. I want to show you another really fun Christmas cupcake. This one is kind of like Santa fell on the snow and his lugs are flailing everywhere. It's super cute, super easy to do. And uh, you can take it in these little individual cupcake containers that we have here at Sweetwise and then just give them to individuals like teachers and mailmen and your hairdresser and thing. Everybody loves a sweet little treat that's really cute like this. So this is a really easy one to make. Okay, so I've got a little cupcake here that I've already coated with a base coat of icing. And all I'm gonna do is give it one last little kind of swirl all the way around so that I can put a little bit of edible glitter on it that's white. And that kind of gives it a, just a nice snowy effect. But I kind of like to do this last minute so that it has that um, tackiness to it so that the glitter will stick. Because otherwise it kind of just bounces off and, and doesn't really have the effect. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on and you can see that it has kind of a reflective snowy effect. So that's cute to start with. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the legs. You can see I have a couple of these already made and I'm just gonna show you really quickly how to do those. Let me do a, a shoe first. So basically what I like to do, I kinda like to make sure that my shoes are the same size. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a bigger ball. So it's like kinda like gumball size that you might get out of a machine. Um, I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger than that. I think this is a little small for the gumball. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut this directly in half and then each of these is gonna be a shoe. Now the great thing is because I just cut it in half, I have a flat spot already. So all I wanna do is kinda of use that as my shoe sole and then turn it over and kinda of push the top over to one side. So now I have more of a flat spot on the top of my shoe and a place where the foot would go in. Now to make that hole a little bit more obvious, I mean, this is a, called a bulbulous ball tool. Um, I'm just gonna stick this down in here and kinda of twist and this is gonna give a spot for my pretzel to go in in just a second. Now what I wanna do is to finish the shoe on the other side. I'm not too concerned on how this looks on the top. You can shape that up if you want to, but it's gonna be upside down. So this is the side that you really wanna pay attention to. I'm just gonna take a little cut here and then push to indent, and that kinda gives almost an exact replica of the bottom of a boot. So I'm just gonna set that down, make sure my hole's looking good for my pretzel. So I'm just gonna take a pretzel rod, and I don't want these too long, especially because um, it's gonna go in the container. But if you have them really, really long, it looks like it's not really a leg. It doesn't belong to a Santa. So I'm just gonna cut them in pieces about two inches long or so. And then what I need to do is wrap it in red. So you can certainly coat this in a red candy if you're not um, a fondant user, but it's really easy to do this. I think it has a really nice effect. Just roll this out nice and thin. I always keep moving it like that so it doesn't stick, even though I have a little bit of powdered sugar down. Just wanna make sure it's not sticking while you're rolling it out. Okay, so I have the thickness I want, and I'm gonna take my two-sided wheel cutter, and I'm just gonna cut it flat on one side. And then I wanna make sure that I have a little bit of the pretzel exposed at one end, because this is gonna be where I'm gonna put it into the boot and have a little bit of white around the edge. So what I wanna do next is just make a nice straight line on this side, and then I'm going to remove that and put a little bit of my piping gel on the red fondant. I just kinda of wanna dot it all over. Nothing too thick, but then again, leaving a little bit of the pretzel exposed, and then you can pretty much just roll it and make sure it's sticking as it goes, and then you'll cut off the excess once it gets around to where it started, just like that. And then you can cut off or pinch off any excess down there too. So now we've got basically the fabric that's wrapped around the leg. And what I'm gonna do at this point is again with my piping gel, it's just kind of a general great glue for everything. One little dot down on the boot. And while the boot is facing down, that's where I'm gonna, I just don't wanna misform it from the bottom side. So I wanna make sure it stays on a flat surface. I'm just gonna push down there and make sure it's inserted. And then if I do push out any of my shape, you can always go back and give it a little bit more shape like that. Now for the white, what I like to do, I take a little bit of buttercream, just white buttercream on my bag, and just really kind of rough, pipe all over. This kind of makes it look like fluff rather than a sock is what we're going for. And I always like to sprinkle over a little tray. That way I don't waste any excess that falls off. But sprinkling this on right after you pipe the buttercream really helps it stick a lot better than if the buttercream had dried. And then I like to leave these upright like this to kind of dry, and that way they all stick together as I'm smashing them in. But here comes the fun part, where Santa falls in the snow. I'm gonna use these ones I made ahead of time. 
All right, and all you have to do, this is so cute, is stick these down in the snow. And it totally looks like he just like fell off the roof or something and is just laying there. So I think that's a really fun cupcake. I think it's just adorable. It's just kind of whimsical and fun, easy to do. Again, use these little single cupcake containers. We, we sell these sweet wise, and I think it's gonna be a really fun little gift that you can give away to people that you love. Thanks for watching.